What's up, YouTube? It's your Lawrence here King D353 here, and hey, it's Fire Emblem Heroes again. Why am I playing Fire Emblem Heroes right now? Well, a new event started today, Forging Bonds, and because I am a sucker for bonus crap like watching characters talk to each other, this rekindled my love, my not my love, my interest in the game. I was originally just going to play it during my own free time, but then I decided I want to have fun with this. What do I mean by have fun with this, you may be wondering, or maybe you're not wondering because you don't give a fuck. Well, too bad, I'm telling you anyway. I wanted to play this actually on video so you guys could see all the cutscenes yourself. I'm going to attempt to voice the cutscenes because... I'm an idiot, and I decided to be even more fitting and have an actual team from Yissy defend Yissy, which is why, as you can see up top, I have a team consisting solely of warriors from the Yissian army. Anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna be playing through these, and, um, we'll just have some fun. Let me see what time it is currently. Alright, so, I'm not sure how I'm going to cut this up. I think I'll base it on how difficult it is to get each conversation piece. Um, but first, I have to go to event recap, because, um... I actually played the first scene already, so I have to go to the event recap to actually let you guys see the starting scene. So, let's start our journey in protecting Yissi. Defending Yissi opening. Are you certain, Sumia? Unknown forces have set fire to a village and are marching to this tower next? Yes! I can see it clearly from atop my pegsis. They're heading this way now. Oh no. We're gonna have to face another battle, aren't we? Judging by the... <laughs> uh, it, it feels weird doing Maribel's voice. I don't know why. <clears throat> Uh, judging from the direction they're heading, do you suppose their goal is the village next to this tower? I shall not allow them to do as they please within the borders of Yissi. We must intercept them at once. But their numbers are far greater than ours. If we face them head on... You'll be just fine, because we're here to lend a hand. That'll be 599, please. <laughs> huh? Who are you? We are the Order of Heroes of Asker. Like the enemies who march this way come from, well, we're from another world. It's, it's a long story. If you're here to help, it matters not where you're from. We thank you for your aid. <laughs> Just leave it to us. Our numbers may be for you, but we pack a punch. Not to mention our legendary summoner. You can count on us, and we can count on your payment afterwards. <laughs> I sent a request to read fortune from Lord Khan back at the capital. With our current strength, I'm afraid Sumi is correct. If we attack head-on, we'll be crushed. Therefore, we must focus our efforts on evacuating the villages. We must buy as much time as possible while we wait for reinforcements. I agree. Furthermore, I am certain we'll be, we'll be able to buy the time required. If it will help protect the people of this village, then I'll, I'll do what I can. I thought that was Sumi, because I was focused on the words. You guys might not remember this, but I have bad vision, so I mess up the actual sentences when I'm looking at the entire screen, so I had my vision completely focused on the words. That's why for a moment there, I thought Olivia was Sumia, because for those of you who, couldn't, who didn't notice, Olivia is currently dressed as a Pegasus Knight, because her unit's a Pegasus Knight. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> if it will help protect the people of the village, then I'll, I'll do what I can. Alright, so that's the opening scene. Let me show you guys the team that I'm going to be using. As you can see, I don't have many Yissians at level 5, level 40. The only ones I have that I'm not using are Lissa, but I'm not using her because she is a silver right now. I'll probably use her if our enemies are a bit too much. Oh, I just remembered, I have Morgan. Hold up, you're getting benched as fuck, Farja. <laughs> Morgan is a MUCH better Yissy in the use. I don't know how I forgot to have her. I also have Lucina here, but I feel Nawi's actually far better than Lucina. So, yeah. We're going to uh, protect Yissy with our team of Nawi, Tiki, Morgan, and Jerome. 
And of course, it has to be adult Tiki because um, these are Yissians, and young Tiki doesn't know what the fuck a Yissi is. If if young Tiki was in Karam's army, then I would happily use Summer Tiki, but I can't. Oh, I should probably actually give them equipment that gives a boost. Let me look at the equipment one more time. Okay, so Faye, the seashell, the bunny ears, and the mask. Alright. Equipped accessories. The bunny ears I'll give to adult Tiki, because currently I have them on young Tiki, as you can see. <laughs> Confirmed. We'll give the mask to Morgan. We'll give the seashell to Naui. Sorry, Fiorn, well, I'll give you back your seashell in a bit. And we're going to put Faye atop the head of Jerome because that is fucking hilarious. <laughs> Why'd I go to the trading tower? <laughs> Alright, now we're ready to actually earn some points. So a recap of what we have, we have now we eternal use at plus three, because I decided now is gonna be the first person I plus ten. She has lightning breath plus, I believe I gave her the defense variant. Yes I did. Pivot Luna defense plus free vantage threaten res and I did not give her an S slot. I will give her that after I show you guys what I've given them already. With Tiki, she does not have a green, I haven't given her one yet, but she has Lightning Breath Plus. I believe I gave her speed. No, I gave her defense. Okay. New Moon, Define Attack, Vantage 1, because I didn't have a Vantage for you to give her at the time. Or did I just... No, I think it's because I don't have a Vantage to give you. Let me see. Oh no, I did give you a Vantage for you. I just have to give you more SP. Alright, well, you're going to get a lot of SP today, so that's fine. But yeah, Vantage, which still needs to be upped a bit. Spur was res free. Initiate Seal Defense, because I didn't have anything else to give her at the time. Morgan used to have Loach Shield, but I haven't used her in quite some time. She has Blair Sprint Res, because I kind of use her as a counter mage. I basically let mages attack her and have her do what she wants with them, which is why she has Mirror Stance. No, she starts off Mirror Stance. She also has Guard and Attack Play. Basically, she has her basic kits. But I also gave her Rally, Defense, and Res, because fuck yes. And finally, Jerome, who does not have a C at the moment. Why didn't I give you a C? Or do I just have to give you points for your C? I have to give you points for your C. I have to give a lot of you guys points for the stuff I gave you. <laughs> so yeah, that's what everyone currently has. Let's um give them some seals right quick, shall we? <laughs> Alright, so my Naui is meant to counter people, so we need something that makes her bulkier. What can we give to help her bulk? Wait, no, my team is... Hold up. My team is two flyers and two ground units. So, let's look at what everybody has currently. Alright. I think I'm going to give you res tactic. Actually, no, 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 no. I don't want to give you res tactic. You get res tactic. You get defense tactic. I gave the wrong person defense tactic. You get defense <laughs> tactic. I'm sorry. We're going to give... Where is it? Uh, ideas are coming from my mind. Loach Shield is going to go to Morgan. Because Morgan's entire thing is countering two space attackers. And finally, we're going to give... Va, 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 guidance to Jerome. 
So Jerome will bring people forward. The two dragons will keep our defenses up. And Morgan will keep her ability to counter long-range foes. Alright, now we are officially set. Let's do this. I'm always going to do advanced. And it looks like we're getting... Red. We're getting red hearts, that means we're going to get closer to Olivia. Alright, this is my first time doing this mode, by the way, so I have no clue what the ballast here will actually consist of. Forging Bonds Advance. Reward for victory, it'll be one ore, because it's the first time doing it today. And then four, 12 red hearts. For one hour, everyone gets times one friendship. That's honestly not that good. And a boosted chance of getting the blue. And blue is... Libra, so a higher chance of getting Libra. You cannot choose the character you grow closer to, or the amount of, or the amount of friendship grows. Equipping bonus accessories on the allies on your battle team will speed things up. All right, let's fight. Hmm. Of course. Tiki here. Now we here. This woman just- Alright, cause you have a strength against dragons. I am stupid. It's fine though. And that's a victory. Tiki fell, but eh. She'll be fine. She just has to rub some spit on it. Okay, so I got 57 points of Olivia. You never cease to impress me, Dwayne. You're always so confident in battle. The way you know just what orders to issue, you never miss a beat. Even outside of battle, everyone looks up to you. You always know just what to say to rally the troops. I've always been shy, so I really admire people with your confidence. And I... I think that I want to become someone as confident as you. But for some reason, it's just so hard. Oh, I'm sorry for bringing this up out of nowhere. Please, forget I said anything. I'll do my best in the next battle, I promise. Oh, by the way, if any of you are wondering why I am not using um, any of the Yissian Travelers... I actually do not have any of them. I failed to summon any of them, so I have none of these people. By the way, let's see. Oh, I can actually change the... Hmm. Oh, I have to press this most likely. Okay, yeah, so what do well, things consist of, really? What is this? A dancer's mask, huh? Okay, then. I'm going to try to get at least three conversations going before I end the episode. Only ten minutes has passed, so it's not like we're in a bad spot or anything. It looks like having Tiki here is the best way to start this thing off. Have Jerome here so that Tiki, so that Maui can um, teleport to him. Yeah. Get fucked, Hollywood. Get all of the fucked. Yes. Let's see, who needed shit? You need shit. Die. It doesn't look like we got much there. We got 26 points towards Libra. Ah, Dwayne. Allow me to offer you some words of gratitude, if I may. If you had not come to help us, our defensive line would have surely been crushed along with the village. Truly, thank you for your help. 
That said, however, we stand on the precipice of a most violent war, harming and plundering the innocents against the will of the gods, and yet, even when fighting in the name of peace, war leads to suffering that reaches far beyond the battlefield. Friend and foe alike, willing to lay down their lives, and friend and foe alike, some will be lost. Everyone who falls to battle leaves a family behind, and that sort of loss, that saddens and casts a long shadow. Those are vi <laughs> there are victims on all sides of war. Each life taken claimed as payment for victory. We must never forget those who paid that price for us. Understood. Even if I can't read it correctly, understood. I guess I'll just end the episode when I run out of stamina. Okay, remembering the fact that these two have my, um, defense and res boost, I want them in the front of Jerome. Actually, wait, no. I don't need the res boost for Jerome currently, so... Now we can stay in the back, Morgan stay in the front. Sometimes I forget to be smart about how I do things. Okay, so you stand here. You boost his rise and speed, and you stand there. Second verse, same as the first. Okay, we got 48 for Livia. And now we have the dancer's mask. But we don't really have any dancers on our team. And I don't think the dancer's mask would work well with um, Jerome. I'm gonna check real quick, see what that looks like on him. Yeah, that doesn't work. <laughs> if it replaced his mask, I'd do it, but it doesn't replace his mask, so I'm not doing that. Who do you think I am? Okay. So I want you in the front once more. Stand right there. I want Naoi to be the one to hit you. Got 57 points of Maribel. <clears throat> I will simply not allow it to march so brazenly into land of Yissi. This is absolute height of ine <laughs> in inelegance. I care not that they're invaders from another world. Just that they get <laughs> the fresh just that they get the fresh they deserve as recompense for this indiscretion. They must think it their right to trample the weak and ruin what's already a mundane existence. And all in the name of some petty ambition. 
the nerve! I simply shall not forgive the gaggle of low-born fools! Anyone who relies on such bar barbarism to thrive is not but a boorish oaf who must be punished. I am a horrible Maribel. <laughs> there is no reason for us to hold anything back against such rubbish abusing their power. They must come to know their sins, so that they may take a hard look at how proper to properly live their lives. I shall rattle my parasol at them in utmost disapproval, and if they still refuse to listen... <laughs> oh, fuck, I'm dying. <laughs> <clears throat> One sec, I need a drink. Oh, God. <sighs> then a sound of flashing is in order. Now, let us move out at once. I don't know why it required alcohol for me to start reading her voice properly. <laughs> Alright, so... Alright, Jerome is the one with the guidance. Alright, you know what? It's fine. I don't need Jerome's guidance. Oh, you moved back, you stupid bitch. Whatever. Do you have fire sleep? You do, so I actually don't want Naoi there. So now we just relax here. Of course. Tiki, relax here. And you, I guess, boost Jerome? Oh, you have defense in res. Why did I think you had speed in res? Death to Severa. Very well. What's next? And everyone just congeal around Naoi. I want to weaken you in hopes that Jerome can get the kill. Twenty six Libra points. All of the boosts. Also, now we you go around to kill Maria. Maria! And rest in pieces. We're not at 30 minutes yet. I think I'm gonna try to push it and see if I can get one more dialogue. Okay. That's a toughie, actually. Actually, no, it's not. Yeah, I'm gonna have Morgan here, and Tiki will follow Morgan. Actually, no, Tiki has to go this way. 
Jerome should be able to take on that girl just fine. Alright. So, Morgan stand here. You boost Morgan's shit. And you two march this way. Cowards, get back here! <laughs> Alright, I guess we're all conjoining up here. In the meantime, death. You don't have the ability to reach me, do you? Yeah, you don't have the ability to reach, so... We'll just wait. One, two, attack this space. Okay, so you stand here, you stand here, and you two reach up here. You have Guidance, so that does mean that now we can take your space, so... Alright, I keep forgetting that my Jerome has, um, the step back thing, so... Water. Move up. Kill. I'm not that stupid. Although I am stupid enough to keep forgetting that I can fucking <laughs> boost the people's stuff on Jerome's turn. I am that stupid. Priest Martyr. Yay, I have a hat now. No, 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 no. Oh, Alright, there we go. Bring you here. Boosty boost. Bring you here. Boosty boost. Slaughter. Sla How are you two still alive? You approach. Oh, I didn't even realize that was a thing. Okay. It's fine, though. You're dead. I feel like there's one person I'm missing the regular conversation piece for. Did I talk to Samia? No, I haven't. And where's the part two conversation for everybody? Part two's at 300. We're nearing 30 minutes. I'm going to attempt to get Sumia conversation one before this ends. I don't like that. That was actually really strong. I didn't think you would one-shot Tiki like some type of ungodly beast. You can't kill Roy. And you can't kill her. You have the rude dude. Triangle Adept. Okay. You're the one that needs to die this turn. Jerome will kill you this turn. Jerome specifically because he needs the points. 
There we go. For the love of God, give me Sumia points. Alright, so now we will be there. I'm not putting Tiki there. I am not letting Tiki get water speared in the face. I'll put her in the spot, but I'm not gonna have her actually in damage range. So Tiki, stand here. Jerome, take a beating from literally everybody. Tiki, I mean, now we take a beating from that person. Alright, we're all good now. Yeah, there is no escape. Same for you, Est. <laughs> Est is like, I'll protect you. Morgan's like, no. Alright, get filing in the episode after this. Oh no, it happened again. How do I manage to lose such a special equipment mid expiration? Oh, um, did you happen to see that? I really wish you had it, Dwayne. Sometimes it feels like I fail at almost everything I try. Even basic tasks are often beyond my grasp. And when I do succeed, well... I longed to be a Pegasus Knight, but I had no Pegasus of my own. Until one day, I just happened to find her. And just like that, I was able to fulfill my dream. So sometimes I feel like I only succeed because I'm lucky. Though I know I can't always rely on being lucky. If I don't try my very best, then... Then... Well, oh, anyway, I'll go look for the equipment I lost. I need to hurry before the next battle. Does everybody understand our orders? Our objective is to repel the enemy. If they retreat, do not pursue. But if things were to continue as they are, we may well be able to push the enemy back even further, no? We have some very capable backup now, so that may be plausible. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We need to wait for Alphonse and Serena to return with their scouting reports. What is the enemy after, exactly? The way they're burning the village as they attack, it's horrible. Could it be some grievance with Yissi? I'm afraid I can't say. I don't know their affiliation or their ultimate goal. What I do know is that they appeared suddenly without warning from another world, and began laying ruin to the people they happened upon. It's all so terrible. Commander Anner, we have trouble! The enemies we fought defeated have somehow recovered and recommenced their attack. They may have cast some type of magic upon themselves before coming to this world. The defeated soldiers have recovered? Could they be some manner of risen soldiers? That's exactly what I was thinking, actually. Be careful, everyone! It looks like the real fight's about to begin. Alright, well, looks like that should be enough for, net well, this episode, I suppose. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe. And yes, I will be doing this for the entire event, even if you guys don't watch the first video. So I guess look forward to this, or ignore it completely. <laughs> uh, this is YouTube.